Former West Indies fast bowler Tony Gray is over the moon with the news of the knighthood of two of his former teammates in Clive Lloyd and Gordon Greenwich, who were included in the Queen's annual New Year's Day list of awardees. Gray, like so many others, believed that the awards were not only deserving, but should have been handed out a long time ago. I think that um, obviously Clive Lloyd um, being uh, the most winningest captain in the history of West Indies cricket. Um, he's done a marvellous job for not just West Indies cricket but the West Indies society in the past. Um, you know, being a leader in the most intricate uh, cricketing system in the world is not easy. So um, being knighted is something that he should have uh, gotten years ago in my opinion because of his invaluable and indelible contribution to uh, West Indies society. The same thing like Gordon Greenwich. Years and years of hard work and uh, projecting the West Indies cricket in the right way. And we know that West Indies cricket means a lot to West Indian people. So it's been a marvellous uh, performance by them over the years and they really deserve their knighthood. Gray, who is the chairman of selectors for the TT Red Force, is keen for the national players to get in as much practice as possible as they prepare for the upcoming professional regional series starting in January. He was happy to see the annual North-South Classic return as a key match in helping to prepare the players. It's something that has uh, been brought back. I think it's very important as part of the preparation of the national senior team for the four-day tournament. Of course, this is a three-day game and it's been highly competitive. The pitch is a slow one and uh, obviously not the ideal type of pitch, but it's still uh, a pitch that bats many to settle long and bat for long. It's about intelligent batting, but um, you know, it's nice to see the North-South game back.